Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. If you're born in October, happy birthday. So, let's just see what we have for Libra for the month of October. This is being recorded in September. If you watch it in September, I would urge you to watch it in October. This is like a preview of what's to come. Prediction for October. Okay. So what do we have for Libra? Oh, we got two. I wasn't planning on doing two, but I think that we will. You're special. Anyway. So what do we have for Libra? Abundance and blessings. Well, isn't that beautiful? So this is abundant blessings for you. Okay. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It's going to be a month of receiving blessings and a month of receiving abundance. It looks pretty darn beautiful if you ask me. Birds are messengers as well, so you're going to be receiving messages this month, a lot of messages. Um, whatever these messages are, they bring you some sort of, of wealth, okay? And wealth doesn't always have to be monetary wealth, okay? Um, whatever is happening, you are blessed with abundance, okay? Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's doubly because you got an extra card. So you're special. It's funny because I said you're special. Every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So um, what do we have for Libra? Oh, that we're not going to take it. Ace of Cups reversed. Maybe we can. I mean, I hate to. I. Uh, Ace of Cups reversed is emotional. Okay, it's very, very emotional. It's tears, sadness. Okay, it's tears, it's sadness, it's uh, emotional shutdown, emotional breakdown. Maybe you're going to be crying this month. Maybe you're shutting down your emotions. Maybe you're closing off your heart. Maybe you're feeling overly emotional. Maybe there's a loss up here. We have a win. This would be a loss of some sort. Um, <coughs> you may be suffering some sort of emotional loss. I do apologize for my cough. I don't know where it's coming from. What do we have for Libra? One card, please. Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is a celebration of some sort. It's a get-together. Um... You may be getting together with friends, celebrating, um, talking, going out to dinner, going out for lunch. Um, there could be, even be a reunion here of some sort. Feels like there could be some sort of reunion. Maybe you're going to talk to somebody you haven't seen in a really long time. I do feel as though you are going to be out socializing with people. Um, it's people that you don't talk with a lot, you know. I don't think you've seen these people in a long time. And I think that Ace of Cups in Reverse came up because you're suffering in some way. Maybe you need your friends. Maybe you need whoever these people are to uh, help you heal over a situation, okay. Um, you may have experienced some sort of loss. Now that just came flying right out. We've talked about this, but this has shown up in your readings before. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So you need to be careful. You have a shark. You have a shark around you. And the shark has been around you for a while. Somebody may be after your abundance, after your job, after your money, after something that is owed to you, okay? Um, I think that you need to be care, be careful. Um, oh, wow. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. a rat. Someone working against you behind your back. So you got a rat and a shark, Libra. A rat and a shark. So that is pretty alarming. Okay, somebody is uh, after you. <clears throat> Victory in some endeavor. So you're going to be victorious. <coughs> Pineapple. Reconciliation. Interesting, because I thought there might be some sort of reunion or reconciliation here. I do feel like you do need to be careful, though. I'm not sure it's a great reconciliation. And keep in mind, if you are the cross watcher watching this, this reading could be for you. Okay. <clears throat> this could also be a reconciliation for somebody else that is in your circle and somehow you're part of it. It could be a reconciliation between uh, somebody that you are very connected to, put it that way. It could be a family member, it could be your ex. You know, it's just something that you need to be aware of. There's going to be a reconciliation here or a reunion, but it may not be for you specifically. It may or may not be. It may be for whoever this reading is about. Um, I do think there is going to be a reunion of some sort here. What do we have for Libra? Somebody is talking against... Talking. Someone's working behind your back. Could be people that you work with. You may have some gossip. You do have some gossip. We got the hangman and the lover's reverse. Now this is the end of a contract. It's a separation or a loss. That's why we had the ace of cups reversed. The hangman is a new perspective is needed. We have somebody here that is very stubborn that wants to prove a point no matter what. This person is willing to sacrifice their happiness, willing to sacrifice anything to prove their point. So you're dealing with somebody, could be a Pisces, uh, could be a Gemini. So you're dealing with somebody that... Um, is very self-centered, um, is very egotistical, and uh, doesn't care. It's all about what they think is right and not open to anybody else's perspective. It's all about them, whoever you're dealing with. Um, this person, whoever this person is, doesn't make logical choices. It's all about, you know, they know it all. This is a know-it-all. So you're dealing with somebody that... Um, you are not working well together with with that lover's reverse. There's a conflict with this person. Um, justice, injustice, justice reversed. Okay, that is an injustice of some sort. Unfair treatment. Okay, somebody's not being fair. They're not being honest. And I don't think that you like that very much. Okay, you don't. You don't. You're all about fairness. You're all about justice. And you're dealing with somebody. It could be there's There could be some legal issues here. Somebody may be lying to get their own way. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you may, you may be dealing with somebody that lacks a moral conscience, that lacks integrity, and, you know, uh, doesn't deserve what is owed to you. So I think whatever that means to you, this person does not deserve what is owed to you. But they are willing to do whatever it takes to get it, okay? Um, I think that you are going to be feeling very unbalanced. You're going to be feeling uh, disharmony within yourself. You are, because this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, is very, um, well hard to deal with. That person, whoever you're, you're dealing with, uh, doesn't care who they hurt. They only think about themselves. And I think you're, you're really going to struggle with it. You're really going to struggle with uh, whoever this person is. Um, letting go is needed because of that hangman. I think that you need to let go of something. Perhaps you've been hanging on and you need to let go. Okay. Um, you need to take time to go within. You need to uh, break free from something. And I think that you've been struggling to break free. 
uh, from a partnership of some sort. You are going to be breaking free from a partnership. And I think that you don't want to. I don't think that you're going to want to do that. Um, I think that something isn't going in your favor. And you're not going to be happy with an outcome. And you're dealing with... The, it's because of another individual that is very selfish. Okay? You're not going to be happy with the outcome. But you are abundant and you can consider this a blessing believe it or not that this this loss is actually a blessing because it's going to bring you some sort of peace even though it hurts okay it may bring you some sort of reconciliation or the other person a reconciliation you know what i'm saying there's a silver lining of some sort here um it's hard to explain this is definitely an injustice, though. There's, there's unfair treatment. Temperance reversed. Again, came flying out of the deck. So, things are happening all of a sudden, okay? Things are happening... Um, without being planned there's something unplanned here the universe is in control okay this is out of your hands we got four majors here we got four cards and we got four majors so this is out of your hands the universe is causing a shift of some sort in your life you can't avoid it even though you may be trying to avoid it you may be not wanting to accept it but you're going to have to accept it you're going to have to accept and allow that there is some sort of separation it's time for you to accept it okay I think that um, there's a lot of this is imbalance 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 three of these cards are imbalance so you, you, it feels like you've been refusing to let go of something or to acknowledge the truth of something that you need to acknowledge this month. Okay. And I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has some addictions, there could be some addictions here. Somebody that goes overboard, they're not healthy. Um, you could even have an addiction. Addictions are code, codependency is an addiction. You know, when you hang on to something that isn't meant for you, this is hanging on to something that isn't meant for you. Okay, it's not meant to be. And um, not wanting to accept. I think that there's something not going in your favor and you may not want to accept it. Now this temperance card reversed is a conflict of some sort. I think there's some competition here and I feel like there's a lot of frustrations and I think it's out of your control. Um, you can't control it. You cannot control what is about to happen. Um, geez, this is total universe. The universe is causing this change. They are. There's disharmony. There's disharmony here. There's uh, imbalance. There's no uh, resolution in sight. It needs to end. It need, You need to let go. You need to release. It's time to release whatever that is it's time to release this partnership that is not compatible any longer I think that you are also going <clears throat> to get into an argument with somebody I think there's going to be an argument with no resolution in sight you know uh, there's going to be some legal uh, Well, maybe it's a legal contract, you know. There's legal flaws of some sort. There is some legal flaws. You may be needing to find them. Okay, you may need to find them. Um, Queen of Wands. Now, there's, another, there's a woman here. There's a woman here. It's another woman. It's not you. Okay, if you're the woman watching this, it's not you. If you're the man watching this, there's a, there's a woman here that is very powerful this woman is powerful she's forceful um, she is taking action 
she is um, a force to be reckoned with. It, I'm not sure if it's a Sagittarius. It could be a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Leo, or a Pisces, or a Gemini, or another Libra. There is a woman here that is very determined. She is determined to get exactly what she wants. That's what she is. She's determined to get what she wants. Two of Pentacles has to do with money. She wants the money. She wants the. She wants the um, profit. She wants the profit of some sort. So you are dealing with a woman who is looking for some sort of profit because this is about profit. But this is very imbalanced. This is unhealthy behavior. Something is off with this woman. Something is off. This is engaging in negative patterns. You're, it is. Something is off with this woman. This woman isn't, isn't healthy. And I think that she's very frustrated and she's acting inappropriately. And it has to do with holding on to some sort of money or something tangible. You're going to need to adapt. You're going to you are going to need to find balance. You need to find balance in some way. This is has to do with financial decisions. Financial it's a financial profit and loss. We do have a woman here and this is a woman. I know that it is that is looking for some sort of financial gain. She is frustrated and causing problems, whoever this woman is. <clears throat> she wants your money. Whoever this woman is, she wants your money. There's, this is extremely unhealthy. Now... Mm. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Now this is irresponsible, jealous. We got somebody here that may even have some food issues. It's very unhealthy. This is somebody that is cheap, that is greedy, that is inflexible, that is obsessed with money. You got somebody here that is obsessed with money. They are. And it's like, but they can't take care of themselves. This is your rat and shark person that is after your money. So you got some, and there's going to be some, you may end up in court against this person. Okay. Um, there's going to be a separation. It starts out with a separation. Okay. It starts with a separation or a loss with that lover's card. This loss leads to an argument with no resolution in sight with somebody that is not going to budge because they they think that they are right no matter what. So this person is not going to budge. Whoever you are dealing with is very self-righteous. feels as though they are entitled and is unwilling to <clears throat> compromise. This and it's funny. It's, this person is unwilling to compromise for any reason whatsoever. They are probably struggling financially and they're looking for you what is owed to you. Okay, this person wants you to pay or they want your profit or something like that. Okay, but that two of pentacles is about an alignment of some sort. Okay, a need for alignment, a need to adjust, a need to adapt. So you are going to need to adapt as well as this other woman. Okay. Um, this Knight of Pentacles reverse is a person that is very, very lazy. This person is lazy. They don't have a lot of skills. They, don't, they lack common sense as well. Ace of Cups and the Empress reversed. So... Um, now, the Empress reversed is some sort of mean-spirited, self-absorbed individual. It is a woman. You have a woman here that is very, very, very selfish. 
This person doesn't care, has no conscience, doesn't care who they hurt. So I don't know who this woman is. Could be a mother type of figure. Could be a stepmother. Um, Mother-in-law. Whoever this person is, she doesn't know what unconditional love is. Okay? She probably doesn't take very good care of herself. She's very lazy and entitled. So you are dealing with a woman that is... Uh, very needy and I feel like this woman um, is lying okay this woman is a liar you're dealing with a liar here who blames this blames she doesn't and she doesn't take any blame and she blames it's almost like she blames you for everything you know so whoever this woman is uh, she's not a very good mother. She's not very motherly. She didn't just doesn't take care of her children very well. That may be the loss. Okay, you may have a loss of the mother, or you're dealing with this woman. You're dealing with this woman who uh, just doesn't accept responsibility or doesn't want to be held accountable for any of her actions. There could be some punishment that is coming because the hangman can signify punishment. Okay, punishment can be coming for somebody that lied. Okay, we have a liar here who um, may be getting some, having some health problems that are coming up with that temperance reverse. There could be some pending illness that is coming up for this person. So just, just hang on for a minute, okay? Just hang on and keep being truthful and honest. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're not going to uh, be able to hold up in court, whatever that means to you. I feel like this person is greedy. You're dealing with a greedy, selfish individual who uh, is very emotional, okay? They act out of emotions. They can't master their emotions, and they're after money. So I don't know who this person is, but that is exactly who you are dealing with this month. I feel like, and they're, it's almost like they're, 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 uh, they're wanting your abundance. They're wanting what is owed to you. Um, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning. It's a new beginning in love. It's a new start in love. It's about happiness, but next to that Empress reversed, I mean, that's that's a mother that doesn't know what love is, that doesn't know how to love. So I feel like you have an opportunity for love here, an opportunity for, you know, real love, but you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest. And for some of you, that Empress could be you. The Empress in reverse is a woman that doesn't know her value, That that is lets herself be treated unfairly okay so that could certainly be you as well I mean I feel like we definitely have a woman here that uh, is not being treated fairly put it that way that you know or she's choosing not to be held accountable for her actions or choosing not to accept the truth that's what it is we have a woman here that is choosing not to accept the truth. And she needs to accept the truth. This is about self-love. Love yourself. If you are the man watching this, you could be dealing with a woman that is uh, up to no good. Okay? If you are the man watching this, you are dealing with a woman that is up to no good. That is... Uh, she may sleep around. Okay, this woman may sleep around. She doesn't know her value. She's She flirts. Okay, she has multiple suitors. She's talking to multiple people. Um, she's selfish. She's greedy. Uh, she's working behind your back. Okay, she's, she doesn't have your back, whoever this woman is. And I feel like you are blessed. I feel like you have abundance that is coming to you. And you got somebody here that is disguised as a friend that is not your friend. And I think that you need to be damn careful. Okay? So anyway, I feel like yeah, you do need to be careful. Here it is. Take care. 
or there will be a loss of material wealth. Somebody is after your abundance. Okay, it, I don't know. It's a, it's somebody that is very, very selfish. They lie. You are dealing with a liar. I think it's a Pisces or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want what is yours. And they will do whatever it takes to get it, even if it means lie. So Libra, I feel like this month you will win. You will win because victory in some endeavor, you will win if you can handle this okay you're gonna have to handle this you're gonna have to uh, juggle you're gonna have to juggle you're gonna have to be flexible you're going to have to adapt to some sort of change do not try to hold on to some sort of partnership that isn't meant to be okay do not try to hold on to some partnership that isn't meant to be. You are going to be asked to let go. This loss, you are going to experience a loss or that wouldn't be here. Or you already have and you haven't accepted it because there's lack of acceptance of the truth here. And I feel like you may say this isn't true. This isn't true. Well, yes, it is true. This is the truth. You're going to be going through a change this month. This change will give you an opportunity to reconcile with somebody. But this is a profit and a loss. You have a very selfish woman here. I don't know who she is, but she is selfish, selfish, selfish. I feel like punishment is coming. Some sort of punishment is coming. I do feel as though it's going to be very emotional. Because we had the Ace of Cups reversed and then we have it here, which is emotions. It's a flood of emotion. So yeah, I think it's going to be a very emotional month for you because you're going through some sort of separation. Or a contract. There's a contract. Both of these cards. There's a contract that is coming to an end. And I think you've been hanging on to that contract, but now there's like, there's no turning back. I think that profound self-healing is needed. And by the end of the month, that is where you'll be at. Good luck.